Hi, and welcome back. This is David Toth of the Pittsburgh Sports Report, bringing you coverage of the U.S. Steel High School Football Game of the Week. This week we traveled to Manesson, where the Greyhounds looked to defend their turf against the Chartiers Houston Buccaneers. This past Friday, the Greyhounds would celebrate senior night, but busting in to try and spoil the evening, the 3-4 and four Bucks would attempt to show how misleading their record is against a promising Manesson squad looking for their seventh win. Forcing a 3-and-out in Greyhounds territory, the Bucks would strike first and fast on a nice punt return by David Kincaid, who would take it to the house from his own 20-yard line. Down 7, Manesson would respond with a pair of first-half scores. The first scoring drive would begin with a long pass and a beautiful fingertip catch that would set up Clintel Gillespie for a rushing touchdown. Taking a handoff, Gillespie would truck his way through the middle of the Buccaneer D for a 12-yard score that would tie the game. After taking the lead in the second quarter, the Greyhounds would pull away by 14 points. This time on a well-placed fade pass to Irvin Green, compliments of West Virginia commit Chavis Rollins. Desperate to end their two-quarter scoring drought and get back in the game, the Bucks would take it down to the wire before driving to the Greyhound goal line, where Javon Hairston would pound his way in for six. With little time left, the Bucks would attempt an onside kick that would take a nice bounce but would be recovered by the Greyhounds. Doing what they could, the Bucks would try and get the ball back as soon as possible by seemingly allowing the Greyhounds to score. Making their way inside the 20, Buccaneer quarterback Alec Ferrari would cap off the drive, scrambling to make a throw that would get his team back in the game. With a chance at redemption, the Bucks would get another shot in an onside kick with under a minute left. But trying to recover the ball with good field position, the ball would take a bounce right into the hands of Javon Brown, sealing the game for Manesson. Earning their fourth win in a row and their seventh on the season, the Greyhounds remain in second in the Black Hills Conference, with the victory putting them just behind the powerhouse Clareton Bears. The Buccaneers drop to 3-5. and five. I'm David Toth with the Pittsburgh Sports Report. Thanks for watching this week's coverage of the U.S. Steel High School Game of the Week. Tune in next week for coverage of the final regular season matchup featuring Gateway and McKeesport.